After you finish cutting out the pieces for the Volvox Volleyball, I highly recommend scoring along all the fold lines. If you score them, when you go to fold, they'll just pop under like this very, very easily, like that. And you can fold it in no time at all. It just goes right under. If you don't score it, you're going to spend a lot of time going like this, trying to pressing, trying to figure out right where the dot is, like that. See, I'm having trouble getting it all lined up, and you'll get a fold that's maybe not quite as crisp. You can do it without scoring, but it's hard and it's going to take a while. If you score, I, I use this little tool that's very similar to like the point of a compass, the kind you draw a circle with. It's sort of sharp, but it doesn't draw. Um, you can use one part of the scissor, or you can use a dead ballpoint pen. That's a good option too. So you just put your ruler right along one of the dotted lines and just go like that. And sometimes where there was a whole line of dots, it doesn't take long at all. You just go like that. See, that was really fast. And then when you go to fold, it just goes right like that. Easy. Okay, so I highly recommend scoring. The next thing you do is glue the three pieces together. And you start by looking for the letters here, X, Y, and Z. See, here's two X's. And on this piece, there's an X here and an X here. So you would glue this piece like this. And then same thing for the Y. Here's a Y and a Y and two Y's here. So you glue this piece like that. And then for the Z's, you would put it in a circle, and I'll show you that in the next clip. So here's the Z's, Z matching to Z, and you would glue it like that. Now you'll have kind of a tube like this, and you can start gluing like this, with these adjacent sides, like this and like this, around. And this will become a little more challenging here as you try to hold behind like this. Put your finger behind it and press and hold for like 10 seconds. The key is to kind of just let it sit, be patient. And let that one sit for a minute, go on to another one, and let that get the joint get firm. And you leave this top flap here for last. This will be the last thing you glue. So as you progress, it's going to get a little bit harder to glue these things. Just be patient. You can Stick your finger down inside, press and hold. And while I was working, I got a little bit exasperated with my glue. I switched to this. Um, sometimes I like to use that. Elmer's usually works well. My bottle wasn't performing so well, so I switched to that one. And just be patient. I guess that's the biggest thing is being patient. You can also use um, a scissor, if you want to put the scissor behind the flap like that, stick that down in there to give you something to press against. Generally, if you can get it in place and then press and hold and count to 10, then when you release it, that'll be good enough. So you're going to end up with a ball with two open ends. So you're going to close one up, and then this will be the time where if you want to put some fluffy stuffing in it, you go ahead and do that, and then seal it shut. The last step is optional. If you'd like your cells to have flagella on them, you can use a large needle and some embroidery floss and just poke through a corner like that, Pull it through, tie, I'm going to 
go ahead and double knot it. And then you can trim it off any length you like. So there, so that cell has a little double flagella. Don't try to do these ones here, just the corner ones.